What's going on everyone? Tom Walters from Rehab Science. Thanks for coming back to my channel. Today we are going to look at exercises in the subacute window after a meniscus tear. So this is for people who maybe had an injury two to three weeks ago and are wondering what to do next. I have a video which I'll link down below. If you've just sustained a knee injury and it's in that really acute window, you'll want to start with those exercises. These are the exercises that come next. They're a little bit more intense in terms of strengthening the tissue. So if you're a few weeks out and you're at that point, you'll want to check out the exercises in today's video. For this first exercise, we're going to do just a simple bridge. We'll do it double leg to start with. Most people are familiar with this exercise. It's going to work our glutes, upper hamstrings, uh, and just start working on building strength in a more functional way. So what you're going to do is have your arms down at your sides, feet about shoulder width, and just push into the ground with both feet. Lift your butt up until you get to a point where you've got sort of a straight line from your, the side of your knee up to your shoulder. So you're just going to go up and down like that. For all these exercises, we're going to go for three sets of approximately 10 repetitions. It could be somewhere between 8 to 15 repetitions, but somewhere in that range. Now, I've covered the single leg bridge in a number of other videos. It's one of the best exercises out there. So if this double leg one is easy, then you would progress to single leg. So I'd have my injured side down, lift the uninjured, and then the same thing, push into the ground and lift up. I want to try and keep my pelvis relatively level. Don't let the other side drop down. So keep it relatively level, and then just go up and down like that That uh, is the single leg bridge. Okay, so that's our first exercise. For this exercise, we're gonna start strengthening the hamstrings, which are on the back of the thigh. You'll need a physio ball or a Swiss ball like I've got here. These are easy to find on Amazon, so just grab one if you don't have one, or you could use this, do this at the gym. What you're gonna do is put your arms down at your sides, your heels will be up on the ball. You are going to push with both sides, the injured side and the uninjured. So try to push equally with both legs. You're going to push up into a bridge and then you're going to bend your knees while keeping your butt up in the air. So this is going to work the glutes, the upper hamstring and the lower hamstring. So you're just going in and out like this 10 times while trying to keep your butt up through the whole set. So just in and out like that, this is going to start working our hamstrings. As you get stronger, if that's too easy, say my left side is the injured side, then what I would do is kind of reposition so that that left foot is in the center of the ball. I'd bend my right leg and just do it all single leg. So bridge up and then curl with one leg. Same concept, keep the butt up, the body in a nice straight line from knee to shoulder and then curl, this will really work your hamstrings quite a bit more. Okay, so that is the ball hamstring curl. For this exercise, we're gonna look at strengthening the quads and glutes. Your quads are really one of your most important knee stabilizers, so we wanna start working on those in a sort of graded fashion now that we're a few weeks out from the injury. So in our first video, we did quad sets and straight leg raises, which start building quad strength. Now we're gonna make it a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna do a double leg air squat. So this is just a very basic squat. I've got the stool here. Uh, this isn't super ideal because it could move on me if my balance wasn't great or my strength wasn't great, but you want something like a couch or a chair that's a little bit higher. You could even put a pillow or a cushion up on top of a chair if it's too low. So what you're gonna do is stand with this behind you uh, and it will serve as a tactile cue. So I can keep my hands out I'm gonna work with both legs. Try to keep your weight 50-50 so it's equal on each leg. A lot of people will try to keep weight off of the painful side as much as you can. Try to keep your weight equal. Arms out and you're just gonna sit back until your butt hits the chair, whatever surface you've got, and then come back up. So this is just a good way to start doing partial range squats. In the beginning, doing a full range squat probably isn't gonna feel great, so you wanna respect that pain and just do what you can, what your body will allow to where your pain doesn't increase significantly. And as this gets easier, then we could just lower the surface over time and eventually progress to single leg squats on that injured side. But for right now, just start with a double leg squat, double leg air squat, 
shoot for three sets, somewhere between 10 to 20 repetitions. And again, really make sure to try and keep your weight equal. Don't shift away from that injured side. For the last exercise, we are going to start working again on quad strength, but in a more challenging fashion. This is going to be really be our first single leg quad exercise. It's just going to be a basic step up. I've got a step here that's a little on the low side, but it's probably a good place to start if you've had an injury. If you've got something that's a little taller, you could try that. Um, but again, if it provokes your symptoms, it really exacerbates your symptoms, you probably need to start with something a little lower or not wait another week or two. But we're going to do just a basic step up here. I'm going to pretend like my left leg is the injured leg. So I'm just going to under control work on using my quads and my glutes, my knee and hip extensors to lift me up in a controlled fashion. I don't want to push off with the other side. So really try not to do that. You're just going to come up gradually and slowly kind of use those quads and hip quads and glutes under control. Again, don't push with that base leg. And we're just gonna, again, work on building, really building quad control and strength. Like the other exercises, shoot for three sets of somewhere around 10 repetitions. Okay, so those are the four exercises. There's a ton of different things you could do here. I will actually put a link also to my gluteus medius video, which has a number of hip exercises that you could also implement at this stage in healing. We know we have lots of research showing that hip strengthening helps to protect the knee. So I will put a link here to that gluteus medius video, but these are just a few that we would often prescribe to people in physical therapy who have had a meniscus tear, have pain that seems like something related to the meniscus who are in this sort of subacute window. The injury didn't just happen, but they're a few weeks out and we're looking to kind of progress things. So give these a try. Let me know if you have any questions. And again, if you need some more options, check out the gluteus medius video, which I will link here. All right, you guys, see you next time. Bye.